be like the moth in which it flies to the flame. Our life is to reach that flame, be the flame, let it to burn everything and overtake you so that you be from that fire. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Always a reminder for myself, this is a very special knowledge and there are very many degrees of guidance that Allah gives of guidance. So this level of guidance of Haqiqat al-Muhammadiyya is the highest level of reality. The conveyance of the Muhammadan haqqaiqs is that of the dearness and proximity to Allah's Divinely love. And those whom allowed into the reality are those whom Allah gave them an access to hear from that reality. For if you haven't heard it, how could you possibly be blessed by it? So Allah when He wants to guide the servant, he guides them to knowledges and that's why Prophet distinguished for us that seek a life and seek a path of knowledge. Not your rizq, not your money, not your status but seek a life of knowledge. Be hungry for that knowledge and anyone who sets out on a life of Divinely knowledges, Allah makes his path a path to paradise. And this is what Prophet was giving us as an isharat because that seeking of knowledge has such an immense reality and immense dress. As Salaamu Alaikum, we hope that you're enjoying the video inshaAllah. Just a request that you help us continue to make such amazing Islamic content inshaAllah. Share this video with your friends and loved ones, subscribe to the channels and donate. Every bit helps. JazakAllah khair and we will return to the program. Allah enlisted us in schools of manner is the only thing important for Prophet Don't look to any amal, for your amal has no value if you don't have muhabbat and good character. What the amal is going to do if you're a rotten person, angry person, foul mouth person, foul mouth and say Allah says, if the mouth is horrible imagine what's in the heart of that person. The only way to that reality in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad is this good character. So with love, awliyaullah come because they're giving the formula come you have to have a love for Sayyidina Muhammad and Prophet gave this secret so easily to his nation. You received such an immense gift, shame on us for not knowing it, for every Prophet wanted it. Every Prophet wanted the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad And Ulul Azam, the great Prophets of Allah what they had to do to get that reality, to get to the fire. Sayyidina Ibrahim, قُلْ يَا نَحْرُ كُنِ بَرْدًا وَالسَّلَامًا All his testing and Allah threw him into that fire because the desire was to be with the Muhammadan haqqaiq. That reality of the nar that is in and above the realities of paradise, it has a portation and a location that may appear upon the earth. And they enter into that realm that takes them to a different reality, not from this earth. When Allah made that fire to appear and cast Sayyidina Ibrahim into that, that was that path of marifah, that was the reality he wanted to reach. 
and in it he looked like he was in paradise. People thought he's on the outside burning and that was a paradise. Be like the moth in which it flies to the flame. Our life is to reach that flame. It's not an analogy. The moth is burning like heck. You think it's, it's fun for the moth to be burning? So that analogies that they give is very deep for us. You should feel you're burning and the life around you no matter what Allah gives to you seems like it's always burning. Always burning because everything from the material world burns until the moth reaches the flame. And what that other knot describes? That no, not to only be a moth to the flame but bring the flame within your heart. Be the flame. Once you've entered into that reality, let it to burn everything and overtake you. So that you be from the flame, minhi wa minhum. What Sayyidina Muhammad described from Imam al Hussein and Imam Ali. Sayyidina Muhammad is describing at the level of the fire, they're tick from my fire, they are from me, and if you see them, I'm there. And it is me because the peace is as the whole. If you go to a beautiful fire and take from that fire and you're able to take from that fire, then you are from the fire. If it burns you, then it burned away everything that wasn't the fire. And in the, in the ashes of your reality, what's going to be left? A flame. It's burning because that is the reality. Everything else burned away that wasn't the reality. So they take back a flame and a reality. So what Sayyidina Musa describes that I perceive a fire at a distance. Let me go to it to get knowledge and then maybe bring back some fire so that we can keep warm. Why would be going to fire to get understanding and news and, and khabar and information? Because Allah is confirming, these are the realities of this Divinely Presence. This uloom that awliya have, this knowledge that they have, this reality that they have, they were taken into that Presence. As a result that fire was put into their reality and wherever they go, they go with that flame. I'll go to that fire to perceive a knowledge and Nabi Musa said, and I'll take some back knowing that I'm going to go into this Divine Presence. And that was the point of his Risalat, right? He came as he was, he was under the Pharaoh's family before that, when he went out into the desert. So that light gave Sayyidina Musa salam Risalat. And what Prophet described of when he gives that light to his awliya? Yeah, that they're the inheritors of the Prophets of Bani Israel. Because that same light when deposited into the hearts of awliyaullah, they're like messengers of Allah but their adab is their nothing. Because they're under the Risalat of Sayyidina Muhammad but Prophet want to distinguish, but you're like the Prophets of Bani Israel. Whatever I gave to them, I'm giving to my awliyaullah and that's why Allah puts it in Surat al nam That when Sayyidina Musa is going for his marifah to be granted his Risalat, wasn't a Prophet at that time until he was activated. He went into the fire, in the presence of the fire. I'm going to take a knowledge from it in his soul knowing something is opening for me and I'll take that opening back to give out as my risalat and my messengership. As a result of being dressed by that, then what Allah describes, any who are in the precincts of that fire, inside the fire 
they're all blessed. Subhanallah. Allah says, Subhanallah. After describing that presence, Allah glorifying Himself because He knows the azimat of this station. It's not a regular knowledge, it's not a regular masjid, it's not a regular association. These are the lights in which deposited and made people to be Prophets of Allah before the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad upon this earth. When He gave to His companions what station He raised them to, when He gave to His Ahlul Bayt what station they raised them to and when He gave to only Allah what station they gave to of its uloom and its knowledges that that light of Muhammadiyyah is entering within their being, overtakes their heart and begin to disseminate that light upon the earth. And all of its knowledges that come from that reality, they can explain the reality of the Prophets of Allah They understand and explain the haqqaiqs because those are all the inheritance that given to Sayyidina Muhammad Rising Sun of the West is an essential spiritual guidebook filled with invaluable knowledge of the soul and the Divine's most powerful guiding light, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. The author guides the student through a comprehensive program of spiritual development and hidden realities of the soul. Available worldwide at Amazon.com Allah describing for us like a flame, this manzil Qur'an in which Qur'an is emanating is the light within the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Every uloom must be from this source, manzil Qur'an is the house of where the Qur'an is emanating every knowledge and every reality, every power, if it's a book that can bring the dead to life it's here. It sustains all of creation and it emanates from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and Allah taking on us on a journey. The Qur'an is bringing us to ta'asee, tilka ayat al-Qur'an wa kitab al mubin This ta'asee is a fire and a flame so pure within the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Wa Kitab al mubin The physicality of the light, the reality of Prophet is Kitab al mubin Allah doesn't need a book in heavens. This was old printing, old technology. Now new technology is what? As a uh, light and when you want it you can press the button and you get downloaded. You think Allah has old technology and we only have the Japanese new technology? There's Japanese up there too, I'm sure they made some technologies up there. Prophet is Kitab Allah, His Holy Soul Wasallam. Everything is written upon it, every knowledge is conveyed upon it. Only now we understood is convey knowledge by light. Now Kitab al Mubin makes sense to people. Why they have to have a printing press? The soul of Sayyidina Muhammad is the light and the knowledges emanating. Its manifestation is the knowledges that are emanating from Manzil Qur'an, from the qalb. You look, then you look with microscope, then you look with electron microscope. As much as Allah gives a permission to see 
Allah says, its power is coming in from this tasi. From all the dimensions, its real reality, its real look and shaykh is coming from this ocean of tasi. And as a result, it emanates out. Or oh, you who are people of marifa and, and under the guidance of Ahlul Basira, as your soul is looking, know that you're in the presence and the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad And from this power of Qur'an is now this fire coming out. The immensity of that, the immensity of its realities. So that when we teach, then we keep saying every time we're meditating, Ya Rabbi, grant me from the realities of Taseen, Tilka Ayat al Qur'an, Wal Kitab al Mubeen. And see ourselves at Rosa Sharif, that's why all these Nat Sharif are describing these. That I'm at the Rosa and the light is coming out. What light is coming out? They describe the light. And you know how to call that light now. Ya Rabbi grant me from the seer and the secret of Taseen tilka ayat al-Qur'an. When you meditate, tilka ayat al-Qur'an, Taseen tilka ayat al-Qur'an wal kitab al mubin And a fire and a flame from the reality and the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad to dress the heart of the servant, dress the soul of the servant. And the remaining months begin to open into that reality. And as a result of this fire and these lights that awliyaullah they're on a continuous journey into that. Every year they're on a journey into that reality, they come back around, pick more people up and go again. And they go again because every journey is a circle. It has a beginning which is Muharram and has an ending is Zul Hajj. They make the real Hajj in the oceans of reality into the presence of Taseen. What Allah described to Sayyidina Musa when he entered into that fire, An Allah, Ya Musa, An Allah. So then your hijrah, if done correctly with the presence of only Allah, enter into that flame because that's the real hijrah in which that flame is being described in Qur'an, An Allah. Because you never see Allah not on heaven and not on earth, but I'm in the heart of my believer. That's what the hadith is teaching us. Not only the physical heart, but the spiritual heart, the spiritual qalb of the reality. Allah say, I'm present there. And that portal when it opened onto earth for Sayyidina Musa he entered in, he said, all who are around are blessed now because of this proximity that I'm opening on this earth. So imagine then the association of awliyaullah. What Prophet is giving to his nation versus previous nations, it's not something comparable. That's why Allah describes the bloodline. What he's giving to his nation and his family is an immense reality. So that that portal is on these earths. When they speak it's as if the association and the presence where Nabi Musa was stepping. And that's why Allah clarifying all those whom are around or in it are blessed. And then Allah clarifies later in the next ayah or second ayah after that, An Allah, Ya Musa, I am Allah. Because that's the Divinely light, the Divinely presence is in that power and that qudra. And if that flame overtake the servant and they lose themselves, that's why then awliyaullah who were dressed not from talking about the reality but they would enter into the reality and talk and then people would kill them. When Halaj said, An al haq not because he was talking to describe to people its haqqaiqs, but he was in a state of that haqqaiq and speaking from the flame that he entered into the Muhammadan reality, the Muhammadan dress and began to speak in the oneness of the flame and called people. And Naqshbandiya doesn't allow that, doesn't allow the talking in a state of a heart to keep the, the correct adab 
and the separation. They allow the tongue to describe a reality and when the tongue is shut off, they allow them to experience the reality but they don't experience and talk at the same time and then give utterances that are incorrect and not to be put out. So Naqshbandiyat al-Aliyah carries the highest level of adab and training from awliyaullah and training from the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad That these are immense realities, immense blessings. And this, this light is going to dress us and bless us. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us from these lights. Subhana rabbi ka rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamu ala mursaleen Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa siri Surat al-Fatiha. If money could just grow on trees, there would be no need for this message. Since it doesn't, let us show you where your generous donations are going. We film, edit, and produce weekly television shows of divinely knowledge throughout Canada and the UK. as well as live stream internationally on Facebook and YouTube. Sheikh Nurjan's ever-growing online presence is the result of continuous financial input, and with your financial assistance and participation, this rapid growth will continue. Our Muhammadan Way app is continuously being upgraded and improved providing an all-encompassing Islamic guide. In addition to the Muhammadan Way app, NurMuhammad.com is a website of immense knowledge and comprehensive Islamic teachings that is updated daily. Your ongoing support also enables a team of editors to compile books of heavenly wisdom from Sheikh Nurjan's teachings. One of our longest ongoing initiatives has been to provide basic necessities to the most in need worldwide. From feeding people in Vancouver's downtown east side, to clothing LA's homeless community, and supporting a children's orphanage in Pakistan. Your ongoing donations will help us continue to spread the love and example of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Become a shareholder in immense blessings. NurMuhammad.com forward slash donate.